I'm a little embarrassed to say that I just squealed in goodwill, but look, this is a piece of my very favorite brand of vintage glass. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. It's a beautiful Friday afternoon here in Las Vegas. The temperature is 82 degrees at almost four o'clock. I am on my way to Goodwill. I just dropped some packages off at the post office, some eBay packages and some packages uh, of purchase directly from my haul, just like the one at the end of this video. So if you see me thrift an item that you're interested in purchasing, send me an email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. I'll send you an invoice and ship it right to you. We're here at Goodwill. I'll see you there. I've had some specific requests this week. Quite a few of you have asked me to be on the lookout for glass animals and Talavera and Tanala pottery. That little blue and white shot glass I found the other day sold ever so quickly. And lots and lots of you emailed me asking if it was still available. So fingers crossed, we'll find some more of those. Let's go see what they have. Let's go thrifting. Let's grab a cart. I've got my thrifting Vegas blanket to pop inside so that nothing gets damaged. The color of the day is purple. All purple tags are 50% off. I often get asked if I want to get into reselling, what type of item should I look for and sell? And my answer is always resell what you love to thrift and list. If you enjoy shopping for clothes or shoes, do your homework, find out which brands are selling well and thrift and list those. If you like hard goods, do some research on glass or pottery or mugs that you like. Make sure what you're thrifting is selling in the market, but thrift and sell what you enjoy. This is a whiskey jug. Platte Valley corn whiskey. It's a pottery piece. It has its original cork. It's made in the USA and it's $2.99. These sell really, really well for me. Let's pop this in the cart. Since we're over here, let's pop around the corner into the vases and see if there are any more pottery pieces close by. I hear the clinking of large carts. I think they're going to be restocking these shelves soon, which is really exciting. I'm not seeing anything much in the clear glass. Let's look in the planters and the colored glass vases. This is an anchor hocking vintage amber glass pitcher. It's a gorgeous honey gold color, $2.99. It's a bit grubby. It could really use a wash but I'm not seeing any damage, a super piece. Let's pop it in the cart. Let's head over to the first aisle of the hard goods and take a look and see what they have. Oh, this is a really intricately done candle with a tiger. Unfortunately, Vegas is getting so warm now that I'm just not comfortable purchasing and shipping candles. They get ruined too easily in our heat. The 
this has the look of George Briard, but I think it's a modern piece. Jungle and jungle animal themed pieces sell really well for me. This is signed Ruan Manning. It's a lioness and her cub. It's a wall hanging for $1.99. Really lovely piece. Let's get that. Here is a almost like concrete handmade in India little pencil holder could be a vase although I'm not sure that it's watertight look at this old fellow he looks like a stopper for a carafe <laughs> Here is a sweet little elephant. The elephants I purchased in the last video in that baggie could have sold several times over. So I'm going to grab him. Lots of hurricane shades. The flash color is wearing off the top of those. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. So I was thinking about it and I realized that I'd never actually seen a carafe stopper. So I'm going to grab this old guy. And over here, this interesting contraption is actually a nutcracker, but I don't think it's vintage. It's not very good quality and falling apart a bit. So I'm going to leave that. These plates are not ever such good quality. They have a really cheap weight to them and the painting is not very well done, so I'll leave those. Here is an example of cheap glass too. I'm a little embarrassed to say that I just squealed in goodwill, but look. This is a piece of my very favorite brand of vintage glass. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous amber Viking console bowl. It's triangular in design, really, really heavy, absolutely flawless, no damage that I can see. I'm going to pop it in the cart and flip it over to see the price. $5.99. I can't quite believe it. I'm so excited. I absolutely love this piece. Knowing that someone donated that gorgeous piece of Viking glass to Goodwill, I'm going to be looking extra carefully through the rest of the store just in case they happen to donate other pieces too. We're in the clear glass and I'm looking carefully. Viking did make some clear glass pieces, although their most popular pieces were those of vibrant color. My favorite are the avocado green, the persimmon, and of course, the amber. I'm always checking silver, just in case it's silver as opposed to silver plate. Here's a couple of cute plush turkeys. These would be really fun for Thanksgiving. I love the little buttons on their wings. 
Let's pop them around the right way so everybody can see how cute they are. Here we are in the baskets and the wood, signs and plaques. We don't grow when things are easy. We grow when we face challenge. How true that is. Look at this humongous tea. I absolutely love it. It could be for Tiffany or Thrifting Vegas. I think I'm going to get this to put in my office. Let's see what else they have. Oh, two sweet little birds up here. Family and believe. My friend Danny, the niche lady, has a wall of uh, pictures and hangings that are all bird themed. I think I'm going to pick these up for her. Here's a little trinket dish. I think this might be monkey pod wood that's been glazed and painted. It's a little bit worse for wear and $2.99, so I'll leave that. It's a nice old cubby. Reminds me of the cubbies in my English elementary school. Some little Hawaii coasters. It suddenly got a bit busy in that aisle, so I popped over to the metals. I'm seeing a rooster under this stack, so I'm just going to dig for it to have a look. I'm on my tippy toes. <laughs> this is quite a high shelf. Now I can feel that's really lightweight, not very good quality, so I'll leave that. Under this stack is a letter B. One of my subscribers is creating a wall of bees, the first letter of her last name. So this is going to be perfect for her. Let's see what else they have. These candlesticks are quite lightweight, a nice look, but the quality just isn't there. All sorts of racks on the bottom. Into the gold tone and brass metals. Checking the silver. These are Oneida, it looks like. Look at this cat mug. That is so fun. This is a Gibson piece. 69 cents. Let's get the cat mug. Oh my goodness, look at the Ewok. He's amazing. I think you put a candy bowl in his hands and you'd set him outside at Halloween. He's absolutely amazing. He almost looks like he's going to spring to life. <laughs> Star Wars things are really, really popular. I'm guessing this will sell for over $50. Let's get him in the cart. Here is a fan. I believe it's woven out of uh, banana leaves. It's 
a cool piece. This is a nice salad set, but unfortunately it's got a huge crack. That is a shame because it's crate and barrel. Look at this phone, an old fashioned phone. It's made of wood. Let's see. Oh, it's a music box. Look at that. Let's see if it works. It does work. It plays. I just called to say I love you. How funny is that? And then you put the little uh, receiver on the hook and it stops. There's a huge basket here I want to take a look at. Unfortunately, it's coming unraveled a bit, but that would have been a great laundry basket. It's a salad bowl here. That's quite modern. Look at this guy. He's huge. Tribal and African pieces sell really, really well for me. I'm just going to make sure he's in good condition. And I'm sure he will be coming home with me. He is really great. I love the contrasting colors. The black with the natural wood. What a great piece this is. He's only $3.99. Here we are in the kitcheny bits. Shelves are quite full. This is a Pyrex single cup coffee carafe. Oh, the lid popped off. Sadly, those only sell for about eight to $12. This is interesting. It almost looks like a Viking piece. It's really, really heavy, but the style I'm thinking of, I believe was on a pedestal called a flying saucer. So I'll leave that. This is a candle holder, quite a nice pearly finish. Lots of pretty balls. It's a pedestal cake stand back here and an Indiana glass deviled egg holder. These are always so fun. I like the fish on this bowl here, but unfortunately they're peeling off. Please stay tuned for my haul at the end of the video. I show you everything I bought, tell you what I paid, and what I expect to get for it. Everything you see in the haul is available for direct purchase. So if you're interested in something you see at the price I mentioned, please drop me an email to thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. This is a pier in one piece. This is what we call a long haul item. If you buy it and list it on eBay, you can expect it to sit there for a while because it's going to take just the right person who needs to replace a broken or uh, needs an extra piece to buy it. Here's a Temptations piece in the basket. The trouble with these is they are so heavy. It uh, really elevates the total price the customer has to pay with shipping. Some false graph pretty bowls. Whoops. Put those there. A 
I think this is a tortilla warmer. I like this picture, fall themed with leaves, style eyes, not familiar with the brand, I don't think it's vintage though, it's quite heavy so we'll leave it. Before I leave, I like to go around the store a second time just to see if they've put any new items out and make sure I haven't missed anything. Here is a bag of five different birds for $4.99. There's glass ones, ceramic, uh, a metallic look one. That is a great deal. I'm especially excited about the glass one because many of you have asked me to look for little glass animals. The second bag is only $2.99. It has three birds and a little trinket box with a bird on top of it. There's a little silver one. I think it's for a tea light. A white one. Sort of a, a almost a carnival glass beigey color, and the trinket box is blue with a white bird. Everything looks to be in good condition, no chips. Let's pop these in the cart too. Back here we have a waterfall incense burner. This takes the little cones and the smoke actually goes down instead of up and creates a sort of a mysterious smoky waterfall effect into the vase. They're really fun. So I am going to pick this up for $3.99. It's in great condition. It's a little dove here. I want to have a look at this. Be careful with the bowl. It's a little dove you mount on the wall. Sadly, it has some chips and cracks, so I'm going to leave it. Let's put it down here safely. There's another bird over here. Let's have a look at this one. It's a little chubby bird 99 cents he's really sweet let's take him he's ceramic he looks like he's in great condition no chips or cracks I love the muted colors and the glaze his little wings poking out I just want to flip this bowl over so it doesn't get broken. There we go. Just going to have a quick look at this frame back here. I think it's a souvenir. Yep, a souvenir from Hawaii. Over here are some glass animals just as I had hoped. There's a little bohemia squirrel. 
There's some candle holders, a bunny, a frog, and a cat. There is this other little bunny, but sadly his ear is chipped. So we'll leave him. And there is a shamrock too, which is also chipped. So I think we'll just take the little squirrel. Look at her. She is a Florence, California piece, a beautiful porcelain doll. She's got gold trim. She looks to be in perfect condition. Florence Ceramics, California. Under that price sticker, she will have a name incised on the underside there. I just love the little tiny beading the look of beading on her uh, cuffs. Let's take a stroll through the frames and the art. One dog calming chair left. <laughs> this looks like a Disney print. I think it's the Emperor's New Groove. Always be on the lookout for Disney cells or original art. The prints and lithographs don't sell so well, but original art and cells can go for hundreds of dollars. Here is a piece of original art. Love you to the moon and back. Somebody did a nice job with that. Let's see what they have in the larger pieces. Look at this old antique dresser. Wow, I wonder what year this was made. The hardware is absolutely gorgeous. It's fantastic. I love the curve of the piece. It's a close up of the hardware. Look at that. $125. Let's see what other furniture pieces they have. Here on my table is everything I brought home from Goodwill. Ziggy is in the box. Hi Ziggy. First we have this lovely picture of a lioness and her cub. It's Ruan Manning. It's a wall hanging in relief. Lovely colors. Just a really nice piece. I paid $2 for it. I'm going to ask $15. Next we have these two little decorative birds. They're wood and wire. I paid 99 cents a piece for them and I am going to gift these 
to my lovely friend, Danny, the niche lady. Amazing. Next, we have this sweet little elephant. The elephants in the baggie did so well for me last video that I had to pick this guy up. I paid 69 cents for him. I'm going to ask $15. Look at this lovely cat mug. It's so fun. It's by Gibson and there's several different cats playing, chasing birds. It's a Gibson piece from 2011. I paid 69 cents for it. I'm going to ask $15. Back here is the beautiful incense waterfall burner and I am going to include a new bag of a little uh, incense waterfall cones. There's a hundred in here. Here is the burner. You pop your cone there, you line it up with the hole, you light it and the smoke flows down like a waterfall on the leaves of the vase. I paid $3.99 for it and I'm going to ask $25 for the burner and the 100 cones. This old fellow He's really fun. He looks like he forgot his false teeth. He's leaning. It's either a cane or a golf club. Maybe he threw his back out playing golf. <laughs> I paid 99 cents for him. I'm going to ask $15. Actually seeing he has a signature. Next we have our Platte Valley Corn Whiskey Jug. I thought it had the original cork. But now I'm not sure. I'm going to pull this out just to see. I think somebody has shaved down a wine bottle cork to fit there. Nevertheless, it looks good. Fits nicely. I paid $2.99 for it. I'm going to ask $15. This tea is going to go in my office. It's actually a world market piece originally priced at $50. So my $2.99 was a good deal. I love amber glass, as most of you know. This is an anchor hocking pitcher in a honey color. I paid $2.99 for it. I'm going to ask $25. Can you believe this Ewok? He is amazing. Sadly, he is missing the plastic bowl that came with him originally. But he is in perfect condition, no chips at all. He's absolutely fabulous. I paid $7.99 for him and I'm going to put him high on eBay. There's one, I believe, on eBay for $150, so I'm going to list him for $100 and take offers. This fellow similarly is fantastic. He is a piece of tribal art. 
African art, two or three tones, gorgeous wood. He's maybe two and a half feet tall. I paid $3.99 for him. And again, I'm going to put him on eBay high and take offers. This is my gorgeous Viking console dish. It's absolutely stunning. It is amber, triangular shaped, and I paid, I believe it was $5.99. And this I am going to keep for just a while. If you would like to send me an offer, because you have to have it, please do so. And uh, I will consider Over here we have a collection of birds that came in two baggies. Variety of different sizes and styles. My favorite is this glass bird. Clear and purple. I love the lines of it has a clear base. Not really sure of the maker. I'm going to ask $20. If you have interest in any of the other birds, I'm going to ask $15 a piece, or if you buy more than one, I will give you a deal. This is a little Bohemia glass squirrel, 24% uh, lead crystal. He's holding a little nut or an acorn. It's absolutely lovely. He is clear. He seems to be pulling the reflection from the Viking glass. I paid 69 cents for him. I'm going to ask $20. Similarly with this bear, he has some damage to his paws, I think. He's blue glass. If you have any interest in him, just shoot me an offer. This little trinket box also came in the baggies with the birds. It's a lovely teal color with a white bird on top. There's no markings on it. I'm going to ask $12. Last but not least, my beautiful Florence of California lady. She's absolutely gorgeous. I love the little gold beadwork on her. It's not actually beadwork. It just really looks like beading. She's in beautiful condition. The gold trim is lovely. She's marked Florence, California. Don't know if you can see her name in size there, Irene. I paid 99 cents for her. I'm going to ask $25. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the shopping and the haul. Please stay tuned for some fun footage of Bear receiving a chewy box in the mail. His favorite thing is 
naturally shared deer antlers. He chews on them for hours and it's saving our furniture. <laughs> but please stay tuned to see him. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. There. Did we get a chewy box? Did we get a chewy box? Should we open it? Let's open it. Are you ready? <laughs> you want to see? Wanna see? What's in it? <laughs> there. Oh. You wanna see? What's in it? What is it there? What's in it? Oh look. <laughs> Careful look. Oh. What is it? What did you find? Is that a water bottle? Yeah, we got you a water bottle. And a treat bag. Oh, that's cool. Big bag of antlers. What are these? Oh, look. There's some cookies. You want to try one of these antlers? Hi. Well, thank you for the kisses. These are buckbone organics. Let's see. <laughs> do you like that? I don't know if I can do it with one hand, can I? I think I got it. Did I get it? <laughs> oh, what's that? <laughs> Can we get one out? What is that? <gasps> oh. Can you say please? Sit. Sit. Want it? Oh, he's such a good boy. He's so gentle. <laughs> Those are buckbone organic naturally shed antler chew for dogs. Bear approves. Do you like it, Bear? <laughs>